Hello everybody, welcome to the sound test room. Today we're taking a look at Shire Whistle. Shire Whistle from Ember Tone. Shire Whistle is a, a Shire Whistle or a flute type thing, a magical thing that you may find lying around in, in, in any enchanted forest. When you pick it up you can You can play it and magical things happen. Anyway, so it's very, very good, obviously. Uh, it is what it is. It does what it does, and it does it very, very well. So you may notice here we have legato, slide, polysus, it's poly, poly sustain or short. If we go to short, it's... Short. Uh, poly sustain is higher poly. Polyphonic. There you go. Now, the thing is, as you can see, it's, it's standalone as well, and it's AUV3, which is very handy, which means we can have lots of them running. Uh, a couple of other things. These here, ornaments major and ornaments magic. The harder you strike the key, you will hear that you'll get like a trill. That's a minor trill, and we can have a major... And slide is very nice indeed. Now slide, if you play slide legato style is the best way. Um, so you, as you've played one note, you before you take your finger off that one note, you go to the next note you want and you get the slide. If you lift your finger directly off the key and go to the next one, you won't get the slide. So that's nice. So you have lots of control as well, a, a load of control. So you can assign MIDI here for legato, slide, poly, short, volume, sustain, pedal, reverb, might reverb time, or the settings, round robin settings. You can have them on or off, uh, on-screen wheel function, ornaments velocity. So that's, you know, depending on how hard you have to hit the key to get that extra uh, note sort of thing. And then your pitch bend range. And then you can tune it as well. You have a rest from the pitch. And then you can set the buffer size. I'm using it as an AUV3. So anyway, so we can we can ignore that now. What we'll do is I've got a couple of these set up in... I've got some Middle East drummer. I'm going to play. And then I have one for this for a lead. Now you'll see that I've put uh, some um, <clears throat> Maxima in there for to to give me a bit of extra volume boost mainly because it's playing with the drums and stuff so it uh, because it's a, a like a fluty whistle thing instead of pushing the volume right up which i can't stand doing uh i just put a bit of uh fred fred anton goldfest's maximum in there you will also see that i have in this one a quattro mod okay so this is playing some chords been triggered by cells here and in this one, I have a <clears throat> dub station 2, both from audio damage. Just to show you the, the kind of creative stuff you could do if you wanted to, um, once you've got it running in AUV3. Uh, because since it's one instrument, we want to make it sound as interesting as possible. So if you want the, the genuine traditional 
penny whistle, cut a tin whistle, Irish whistle kind of thing of what whish, 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 whish. Uh, what it is, uh, then you're, you're, you're good to go. Of course, then you can add your effects, etc., etc. But it's very, very good quality. It just is, you know, it, it does what it says on the tin. It's a shirey whistle. I can't even say whistle, man. What's going on? I get my teeth fixed. Right, here we go. So I'm going to play, I'll fade that in. But I've got it linked up to cells. So if we go into the thingy here, we'll see that I have this one routed to Rosetta cells here. And I have cells just playing. I've set it on one bar. It's going forward. And I've just got it playing four chords. That's it. If you want to know how to work Rosetta cells, I did a video on this. Just type the sound test room Rosetta cells. If you want to check out any of these apps, uh, particularly Shy Whistle, there will be links in the description. Okay, so all you need to do is go to the video description. If you use my link for any of these, okay, I get a small commission, so, you know, that helps me survive. Uh, if not, just like the video or subscribe to the channel or consider becoming a patron. Okay, here we go. I'm going to start this off. Uh, so MIDI strum will play first. You won't hear this because I'm going to fade it back in. See, what that does, adding the, almost makes the, it sound like a Mellotron. So you can get really creative.
So there you go, guys. A, a quick blast through with Shire Whistle and some of the bits and pieces and AUM and things, some of the cool stuff you can do. Um, I mean, it's not going to appeal to everybody because, you know, for what it is, people think it's expensive, but it's it's super high quality, you know. it's it, it A lot of people will like it because it's very, very, very realistic, especially when you start to put it into context with other instruments and particular styles of music folk music for instance progressive folk that kind of thing you know it this middle eastern type thing as well works brilliant with it anyway the, the rhythm i mean um right okay um thanks for watching like i said before like the video subscribe to the channel consider becoming a patron and uh, thanks for watching i'll see you guys later